wanted to uh, give you guys a bit of an update about what we've been doing with uh, multiple materials here at E3D and on Cyclops and Chimera. Um, so the first one is printed with Cyclops. Um, it's an open RC truggy tire. And what we've done is actually printed the tire in a kind of semi-flexible material um, around a rigid PET hub, all in one print. So that's quite nice. <clears throat> Could have done with a bit more purging to on the PET because we've got a bit of kind of black uh, leaking in there. But on the whole, quite a nice print, really cool demonstration of using multiple functional materials to create functional items. Next, what we've got is a kind of abortive attempt at, I, I say color mixing, um, but using uh, Repetia's uh, new firmware, that allows you to control two extruders and run them at once. We've printed this dodeca chain by Emmet, um, but we've assigned different uh, ratios of color to each of the kind of cube, the tetrahedrons. Um, so again, we could have done with more purging here, but this one is yeah, allegedly fully white, but there's been so, some leaking of the blue over into that. Um, this one's fully blue on the left, and that's purged out quite well. The blue's a stronger color and kind of overcomes the white more effectively. But in the middle, we've got 50-50. Um, and although they're not truly mixed, we'll just let that focus. Although they aren't truly mixed, uh, we do get kind of a, yeah, a, a, a semblance of color gradient. There's a lot of artifacting in this print, and it's nowhere near ideal because Cyclops is not a mixing hot end. Um, but it does show you the kind of cool potential that we have going on here and it's something that we are working on I promise and this last one is really interesting to me um, it doesn't look like much but we've again used the same uh, two materials uh, rigid copolyester um, that's E3D premium PET and a flexible copolyester that's our E3D uh, flex 65 I believe and what we've done is printed a beam with a variable mix of rigid material at this end, flexible material at this end, um, and we vary the amount of the, the ratio of the mixture in a gradient as we go along. What that means is that at the left we have a relatively flexible material, in the middle we have a semi-rigid material, and on the right we've got a fully rigid material. So the beam actually has different properties varying in a gradient all the way along. Um, I think that really, really shows the potential for functional multi-material printing and using two materials not just as discrete elements, but in gradients and ratios.